Good. Proceed to the main stage and stand on the podium. There's an old friend waiting for you there already. We have to be on the lookout for Antonovsky. Do you ever just stop? We won. So smile. Okay, don't smile. Creeping me out. It's showtime. Welcome, everyone, to the Detroit Arms Expo, where we will show you the newest, hottest advancements in urban warfare. Thank you. Thank you. Now, please, before we proceed, let's take a moment to honor the man who made all of this possible. So join me in a minute of silence. Now, let's start the party. OCP has always been the pioneer pushing the limits of what's been possible in security technology. Those efforts gave us RoboCop and RoboCop 2. That's right. But much like our late CEO, RoboCop is the past. We need to look at the future. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present OCP's newest achievement, the UEDs, Urban Enforcement Droids. A reliable solution to crime with the push of a button. UEDs will be exclusively protecting the streets of Detroit since the police left the citizens of our city to the mercy of the criminal element by going on a strike. But no need for alarm, UEDs are ready to patrol the city today. Today will be their first major test, the protection of the mayoral election rally. Now, let's open up the floor to the questions. I'm sure you're dying to hear more about my robots, yes? I have a question for RoboCop. In view of the police strike, do you think these new robots are actually capable of protecting the city? The police did not strike. We were fired. The police left because they felt threatened by the UEDs. And rightfully so. My machines are superior in every way. A presentation is in order to show that those are not just empty words. I have another question for RoboCop. It's about the candidates for mayoral elections. Who cares? It can't even vote in the damn thing. It's just an OCP product. There are a lot of people that value his opinion. Polls show that RoboCop's words and actions have influence ratings for both candidates several times already. So, RoboCop, could you give us all a definite answer and put our minds at ease? Is Mills' promise to grant you and all future cyborgs human rights enough to earn your support? Knowing you'd possibly get your freedom back? Freedom to do what exactly? Get back with his family? Start a business? Join a bowling team? Or will you? Contrary to your creator's interest, encourage people to vote for Mayor Kuzak, OCP's loudest adversary. I support Mayor Kuzak. Thank you for such a straight answer. I'm sure there are people who've waited to hear it. Well, there you have it. Now we can get back to why we all gathered here. My robots. It's time to present what these bad boys are capable of, huh? I just need to find... the remote. And where did I put it? Is... is that normal? Huh? I... it's just a prototype. No need to worry. More will come. What the hell are you talking about? What was that? All of you need to leave. What is happening? I lost my How 
many are there? Oh, there's plenty more coming. It's our flagship product, after all. But I can't do anything to control them with... Did you remember? No, oh, damn it! But there's another way. We can't control them, but we can make them stop. The entrance is repulsive. All of the gates clear the space. The code doesn't work. Luckily, I'm the one who sold them this garbage, so I know what to do. Just destroy the fuse box, and the gate will open. Do it! What is your plan? I give the orders and you follow them. Maybe it'll work that way for once. Okay, since I open the gate, you clear the way to Hall C. I remember differently. Your memory is good. from Hall C. We must manage this mess. Those UEDs are my ticket straight to the CEO's chair. This EMP device, how does it affect me? Don't worry, nothing will happen. To your brain, at least. And that's the part you cherish the most.
know. I figured I'd meet you here, Robocop. Seems like you two have a lot to talk about. I don't want to be in your way. Nonsense, Mr. Becker. Since I have you here, thank you for providing me with this little thing. I was looking for a loyal partner. I was hoping it would be Robocop, but your droids will have to suffice. No problem. And thank you for choosing OCP. Now that my work is done here, so I'm just gonna get the... Robocop, now that the old man doesn't need you, I don't need you. Keeping you alive this long was a mistake. Let me erase that mistake! Sorry, I won't be staying to witness this. I need to start packing up the toys. Take care of him. Enemy contact! Murphy? Murphy, we have to fix you. We have to erase you. It's actually impressive how stubborn you are. At the same time, oh, it's heartbreaking knowing that you never could have won. Oh, your creators made sure of that. That chip, OCP implanted in your brain, the one that was supposed to help you, it served as my collateral. It made sure that you could never touch me. It's activated with this. Oh, but I'm sure you already put that together. 
The old man wanted me to use it sparingly, as long exposure would melt your brain. Oh. Well, that's a visual. But since the old man's gone, I can do whatever I want. We packed everything, sir. Splendid. Duty calls. But I'm leaving you with something to remember me by. Good night, Murphy. Oh, it's been exhilarating. Now it's time to take what's mine. The city of Detroit. Night, you're leaving us again? Don't go. Please. He's waking up. Oh no. What do we do? Murphy, stay calm. He's in so much pain. The chip. Remove it. The evaluation chip? How do we do that? I think I can help. There's a button here that will shut him down. Why is this place so deserted? What's with all the noise? It's Murphy. OCP sabotaged him. That's why Wendell was able to get the upper hand. Why? Robocop's their program. They wanted Robocop's data to use in the Afterlife Project. And no wonder. Robocop is the only successful cyborg that OCP has managed to produce. After they got what they needed, they just wanted him out of the way. Without getting their hands dirty. Those scumbags! What now? We need to get that chip out. It should be under the helmet. I saw someone take it off once. I think I can do it. What about the chip? It's here, but I don't think I can. Let me. I'm not squeamish. <laughs> I've done far worse things for far less. There you go, you little bastard. Is this it? Should I turn him back on? Do it. So, Murphy, how are you doing? I am doing well, officer. So many familiar faces. Are we celebrating? Wendell certainly is. He stole a shit ton of heavy-duty equipment from that military expo. What happens when he decides to use it? He already has. You've got some nerve coming in here. With no police on the streets, every gang in the city is on the rampage. Detroit's on fire! She's right! I've got a call that Windows goons hacked the election broadcast... ...to send a message. Citizens of Detroit, I'm sorry to inform you that help is not coming. You've been abandoned by the police, by your politicians, and by OCP. They all promised you a better life and tried to give you hope. And where did that lead you? Into the cesspool. I feel your frustration. I empathize with it, but let's not stop there. Let us do the only thing we can. Let's burn this filthy city to the ground. And from the ashes, let's rebuild something new. Something... better. This is bad. Can we do anything about it? I mean, we've all been fired. Never stopped us before. But where do we start? The new mayor is stranded downtown. That's as good a place as any. All right, let's gear up. What do you say, Murphy? I thought you would never ask. Murphy, Lewis, Washington. Head downtown and help the mayor. I'll try to get as many officers to join you as I can. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, 
There are phones that need answering and no staff to do it. Sure. Why not? Wait, does anyone even know who won the election? Actually, no. But whoever did, they'll have a hell of a time cleaning up this mess. What's the emergency? Oh, man. This is Reed. We have a job to do.